Oh, there is some difference in tone, but both love big government. And, and I think that's what the move will be because they want to re people want to assume responsibility for themselves. You said you were disgusted by <laughs> some of the debates that you've been engaged in now. What's turned you off? Well, I, I guess it's the uselessness of some of this rhetoric. I mean, arguing over who mows Romney's lawn. I mean, in the midst of a crisis, a sovereign debt worldwide crisis, the biggest in the history of the world, and the financial system of the world is about to collapse. We're about to have another devaluation of our, not our currency, but our credit rating. This is serious and no control in the spending. I mean, we're going to have to get a handle on this, we have to quit worrying about who's mowing Mitt Romney's yard. You, you, wrote, you wrote in your book, Liberty Defined, about the fact that politics doesn't really offer a lot of choices. This is what you said. When it comes to any significant differences on foreign policy, economic intervention, the Federal Reserve, a strong executive branch, a welfareism mixed with corporatism, both parties are very much alike. The major arguments in hotly contested presidential races are mostly for public consumption to convince the people they actually have a choice. Are you saying that if Mitt Romney's the nominee, there's no choice between him and President Obama for voters next fall? Well, you could probably figure out some choices, but uh, you have to figure out uh, which position that we're looking at uh, with Mitt Romney, you know, it changes. But my point is, would there be a change in foreign policy? No, there would not be. Would either one of them work on a true audit of the Fed and a change in monetary policy that the Federal Reserve can't monetize debt? No. Would they address the entitlement system? Would they ever address either one? that we should have concern about our debt and cut something like a trillion dollars because we're on the road to fiscal insanity and a breakdown of the world financial market? No, there would not be a significant difference between the two, although on the edges maybe. I think uh, Mitt Romney now is probably very sincere about his right to life issue and probably on the tax issues there would be some differences. But the big issues, the big policies, regardless, I mean, uh, Obama was elected as a peace candidate and expanded the war and it goes into war without even congressional approval. I mean when uh, when the Republicans get in and they're against uh, you know regulations they give you uh, no uh, no child left behind prescription drug programs and uh, uh, Sarbanes Oxley so no the, the the regulatory system the spending the deficits the printing of money they stay the same and that's what the streets are telling us whether it's the occupiers or whether it's the uh, uh, Tea Party people, they're saying enough is enough. They want some changes, and that's what they're looking for. An idea whose time has come cannot be stopped by any army or any government. There is no authority in the Constitution authorizing a central bank, which means there should be no.